Yo, what's up guys? It's Kobe, and I haven't made a video for a while. Uh, I've gotten several messages asking, you know, what's up, if I was busy, if I was dead, uh, but no, I'm fine, and I haven't even really been that busy lately either, um, but I've actually just been, you know, having some PVR cables pooping out on me, so, you know, obviously that would interfere with my video making schedule. Plus, I live in Hawaii, so it takes like bajillion years to get here. Um, so today, I just have a quick video of just some stuff that I want to talk to you guys about pertaining to like the very near future here on this channel. So just getting right into it, uh, I've actually been working on two completely new series that I'm going to start up here very shortly, and I've just been coming up with all the ideas for them, and uh, you know what's going to be in them, and you know what I'm going to have to record, because if I'm making a series, I want to have a good amount of ideas ready so I'm not scrambling for them later, and I want to know exactly you know what I'm going to have to do going into it so I don't really have to waste any time, and uh, you know I might as well tell you what they are. So. My first new series is going to be a best class loadout series, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these around YouTube already, so I'm going to try to do mine a little differently. I know a lot of people typically make a video about a particular gun, and they tell you what they think is the best class for that gun, but personally, you know, I just think with that pick 10 system and all the different perks and attachments and pieces of equipment, it's just impossible to say, you know, this is the best class, especially if you factor in different types of play styles that people play. You know, a really fast paced Slayer is going to have a different class compared to a more passive support Slayer or, you know, just support player in general. And the thing goes for objective oriented players also. So that's what I plan on doing, breaking down each gun and attempting to figure out, you know, what loadout is the best for different types of players. So that's the first thing, and I think you guys will enjoy it because, you know, on my weapon breakdowns, I always see comments asking what attachments I recommend, and that series is more, you know, just about the naked guns and its stats. This series is, well, you know, will be about the whole class loadout and what is most effective altogether. And the next series is really still in development form. It's kind of a big one, and what I plan to do is create a sort of Black Ops 2 strategy guide that covers every game mode for every map. And this is going to take a lot of time because at first I wanted to make you know a nade spot series and maybe a series on how to hold down power positions. But I was thinking, you know, why not just make one badass video covering everything? Uh, so that's what I plan on doing. And I only plan on doing objective game modes because that's what this series is going to be about, how to win the game. And like I said, I'll be doing every game mode on every map because every game mode, you know, has different spawn systems, nade spots, cutoffs, power positions, and, you know, all that stuff. So I want to make sure I cover everything that you could possibly know to win that game. And I want to emphasize, this isn't about getting 100 plus kills every game. You know, going into the video, I'm going to assume that you're playing like the best, most tryharding team you have ever seen in your life. And I'm just going to be showing you how to beat them, you know, no matter what type of player you are. Because every player has a role and you know, you may run around with a silence PDW or you may like to use a target finder and head glitch a car, but either way you can do something to help your team win. And that's what this series is gonna be about. And I haven't recorded, you know, started recording either of these series yet. So if there's anything that you want me to add into them, uh, onto either of them, just let me know. Uh, if it's a good idea and flows well with my overall concept, uh, it'll be a piece of cake to add in. And I'm not stopping any of my other ongoing series that I'm currently doing. I'm just adding in something new. So just let me know what you think about both of these and, you know, what could possibly make them better. Lastly, I got a suggestion from a subscriber actually that I was playing with to do a quick couple videos explaining the quickest way to get each of the classes in diamond camo. I was explaining and giving him some tips on how to do it and he just told me, you know, maybe why not just make a couple videos about it. So I'll definitely be doing that also. That'll be super easy and I think it's a pretty good idea. So I'll definitely do that. But yeah, expect a ton of awesome videos coming out soon and uh, have a great day. Peace.